Hello everyone and welcome. You know, one of the most important things that we do on a daily basis is time management. You can't be very efficient if you don't manage your time properly. And it's kind of hard to manage your time properly if you can't keep track of your time. And um, talking about the significance of the passage of time, right? The significance of the passage of time. So when you think about it, there is great significance to the passage of time. So whether at home, at the office, or in your shop, having a good clock makes time management that much easier. Now I have a few clocks in my shop, but a lot of times I can't see them. Either it's too dark or they're too small and hard to see. So a few days ago I was watching another YouTube channel and that guy had a really big bright digital clock that had a bunch of nice features to it. So I started looking around on Amazon and I decided to get this clock that we'll be looking at today. This is a big, bright digital clock that displays time, day, even the current temperature. All of these at a very reasonable price. So if you've been looking for a great clock with a lot of information for a great price, stick around as I unbox and I set up this puppy. All right, guys, so when you unbox this puppy, this is everything you get. So let's talk a little bit about some of the features that this guy has. But before we get started testing this guy, do me a big favor and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. That way you get notified every time I do another product review video, DIY project, or a sale at a big box store, or I can help you save even more money. All right, then, so this is a 13.7 inch, big number, easy to read clock from Analoy, available on Amazon, link in description below. At the time of making this video, this clock retails for $39.99. But they also have a 25% off discount coupon on their Amazon page, making it even cheaper than that. This guy comes with a one-year warranty, and what do you get when you unbox this guy? Well, you get the clock itself, you get the instruction manual that tells you how to get it all set up and all that kind of good stuff. You get a big, long power cord, because this guy does need to be plugged in, it's not battery operated. And the power cord, I just measured it, and it's 11 and a half feet long, so that'll give you plenty of cord to get it set up just about anywhere. You also get a remote control to help you get this guy set up, so you don't have to do it manually if you set it up far away from you. You get a couple of push pins to use as hanging hardware, and you get a ruler, a paper ruler, to help you set up where you put the holes to mount this guy. The dimensions on this guy are 14 inches by 4 inches by 1 and a half in thickness. The clock display is 13.7 inches, and the display brightness is adjustable. The brightness has 10 levels of adjustment that you can select from, or you can also set it to auto brightness adjustment. So the display will adjust itself based on the lighting conditions in the room that you set it up in. This clock can be either desk or wall mounted, as I'll show you in a little bit. This clock displays the time, the day, the month, the year, even temperature. The time on this clock can be set to regular time or military time, 24 hour time. And the temperature can be set to either Fahrenheit or Celsius. This clock has an automatic daylight savings time adjustment that you can set to and forget about it. And two separate alarms that you can set up. This clock also has a countdown timer, which can be very useful for many different types of projects. This little guy has a battery backup, so you never lose your time, even during a power outage. But the clock itself must be plugged in to work properly. It's not battery powered, as I mentioned previously. This guy has the remote control to make changes anytime you like without having to get up on a ladder if you happen to have this guy wall mounted up high somewhere. You don't want to get up there. Trust me, every time you need to change the clock or change some settings, getting up on a ladder is very inconvenient. This guy also has an attractive RGB lighting from the bottom of the clock that can be set up to use it as a night light for the room itself or to light up the way when you're entering a room. Anything you want to do with that, it is very convenient to do. It can be turned on or off to suit your needs and the RGB light can set to any color that you like or you can set it to rotate randomly throughout the color spectrum as you see it's been doing as I've been talking. So when I saw this little guy on Amazon, it caught my eye as being very full of features, yet very affordable. So let me show you real quick how to get this guy set up, and then we'll hang this guy up here in my shop and see how it looks. All right, guys, so here's a real quick shot of the back of the clock, because everything is right there on the back. You can see five little buttons right there. That's what you use to set up the clock, the date, the time, all that kind of good stuff. And it's very, very easy to do. There's no controls on the side or the front or anything else. There is a little paper ruler 
that you use to uh, put up the mounting holes, figure out where they belong, so that way you don't mess it up. And those are the mounting holes right there, one on each side, very easy to get set up. There's a remote for you, and all the controls are very easily understandable. Everything's printed with exactly what it is that it does on the clock. So there's really no confusion and no figuring going through any menu or any of that kind of stuff. It's right, each button has its own function to it, so it's very easy to do. Now as far as this guy, we're gonna hang it up in a minute. And there you see the power cord right there. Like I said, 11 and a half feet long, and it does not bring the brick to it. So you need to be able to have the power adapter or have a USB to plug it into. So that's what I'm gonna set up in a moment. But looking around here, let me give you an idea of what we're looking at. Like you see, I have a clock there, but a lot of times I don't see it because like this lamp gets in front of it. So a lot of times I don't even see it. And then I have a tiny little digital clock right there that I, I basically made that myself. I was just goofing around one day and that came out of an old coffee maker. That was the base of the coffee maker. And obviously I didn't need it for anything else aside from the clock. And it still worked even though the coffee maker stopped working. So one day I was just messing around and I said, you know, what happens if I take this off the coffee maker and try to use it separately? And there you see the end result. I just stuck it onto that little black box there and I made it into a little clock. Just goofing around just for the fun of it but it is rather small and hard to see. Now over there, I have another clock, but look how far away that is. And over there, I have another clock, but again, it's pretty far to see, and you really can't see it when the lights are turned off. And sometimes when you come into the garage, you know, the lights are off, or when you drive up, the lights are off, and uh, it's very hard to see. So I thought it'd be nice and convenient to have a digital clock that I can set up uh, somewhere up here Maybe up there where my little logo is right there. Maybe I'll have to move that somewhere else. For right now, maybe I think I'll put it up there and see how it looks. It's kind of high up, not obstructed by anything, and easy to see. So that's uh, pretty much my plan for right now. I may change it later, but right now, that's what I'm going to do. And then I have power right down here, right below it, so I can easily plug it in without any trouble at all. Originally, I was thinking of putting it over there above my door because that just seems like a cool place to have a clock, but I don't have any power connectors over there. The only power connector would be way over there or way the heck up there somewhere. So rather inconvenient to run a lot of cord uh, just to get that set up. So for now, that's what I'm gonna go with right up here. So let me get a couple of nails set up there and we'll get this guy hooked up. Oh, by the way, guys, before I hang it up, I figured I would show you what it looks like as a tabletop mount. If you were to put this on a desk or a tabletop or uh, entertainment center or anything else, you see it stands up by itself very nicely. And it gives you a very nice, clear, large display. You can see right there the time, the date, the day of the week, the month, everything, the temperature, everything you need to see. So if you put it on somewhere, no matter where you put it, you see right there, it's very compact, very slender doesn't take up any room at all. It is a very slender design. You can put it up against anywhere at all. And let me turn off the light and I'll show you what it looks like. Let me see right here. Turn off the light and look at that. Wow. Look at, I have all the lights turned off here in my garage and you can see it from far away. No matter how far you are, it is very clear and easy to see. And I have it adjusted right now to level 10, so it's full brightness, but you can adjust it to any level that you like. And you can see a little bit of glimmer of the RGB light down below because one of the things that you lose if you put it on a tabletop, you won't be able to see the light down below. See, let me show you right there. See, I have the light turned on below, but you don't get that if you have it as a tabletop mount. But also, if you do put it on a tabletop, be sure to turn that light off. You can turn it on or off, but turn it off so it doesn't happen to get hot on you. But if you put it on a tabletop, you lose that RGB. If you hang it up, then you get to enjoy it. So that's very cool right there. Let me turn the lights back on. And there you go. So that's what it looks like if you put it on a tabletop, a desk, or anything like that, entertainment center, anywhere at all. Very cool indeed. So let me hang this guy up and I'll be right back. Gee, I wonder what time it is. Oh, there is a nice big bright clock that I can see from all the way across the garage. That is pretty darn convenient now, isn't it? There you go, guys. I have the clock all hung up right there, and all the lights are off in the garage, and look at that. Look at how bright that little guy is. <laughs> it gives nice little nightlight, so you can see very nicely in here where everything is located. 
And I have it uh, rotating randomly through the lights right now, so that's why it's changing to any color that it wants to. It's more entertaining that way. But check that out. That is a super big, super bright light right there. Super easy to read it from anywhere in the room. I really like that. That's really cool. Let me turn on the lights and we'll see what it looks like with the lights on. Well, there you have it, guys. That's what it looks like. That's the time of the day. And I can see it from anywhere inside the shop. Look, at I'm backing away all the way to up against my car over here. And you can see how easy it is to see that from anywhere at all in the room. Now, all I have to do is little, do a little bit of cleanup. I have to uh, hide the cable and stuff like that, hide the power cord. It's all dangling right there. All I got to do is kind of spool it up. It does have a spot in the back where you can uh, coil it all up so that way it's not dangling everywhere. So that's fairly convenient. So I'll take care of that. But I was taking care of the mounting right there. And let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Do you think it looks good there? Or do you think it would look good above the door? Because, I mean, above the door, I could always put it there. And I guess I do have a power outlet right here. It's taken up right now, but I could always add another outlet to that, put it up there on a beam somewhere, and then run the cord across over there and put it above the door. So give me your comments down below if you think it would look better above the door or just leave it where it is right there. Either way, it's cool by me. I, uh, you know, I'd love to hear some other opinions from you guys. So let me know what you think about that. But all in all, I really like it. I think it's really cool. And uh, let me show you uh, the remote right here. All right, so if I wanted to make any changes to that at all, I have the remote right here, and I can do all the changes right here without even having to get up on my little two-step ladder right there. Why get yourself in a dangerous situation? Why bother? Use the remote. No matter how high up you have it, I can get it easily with this remote. You can turn it off. There you see right there, I turned it off. If you want to turn off the light, you turn off the light right there, and everything is completely dormant. You want to turn it back on, there you go. That's the light right there. And you can change the colors on here easily. There is, there we go. The clock back there again, you got to point it right at it. It's right at the bottom of the two is where the sensor is for the remote control. So that's where you got to point it to be able to get it to see it properly. But there you go. I think this is a really cool clock. I really like it for under 40 bucks. I mean, come on, 40 bucks is nothing when it comes to most clocks and stuff these days. So under 40 bucks, that is a really good deal. Big, bright clock. I can see it from anywhere in my garage and, you know, even a bigger room if you want to. With the lights on, with the lights off, very clear and convenient to see everything I want to see right in that little display right there. So if you guys are interested, check out the link down below. That way you can get all the information on this clock and any other models they may have. This is the one I like, so I'm pretty satisfied with it. So anyway, questions, comments, put them down below. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye for now.